Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. Uh, today I've decided to do a third video in the series uh, I did about um, internet dating. Can you successfully date a Thai girl via the internet? Now this video is going to be pretty frank and pretty honest and open, so because I know it's something that uh, concerns a lot of people and a lot of a lot of men are interested in uh, in Thailand and people who uh, want to come to Thailand and people who have had some traumatic experiences dating in Thailand. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'll be quite honest and open in this video. I've met quite a few Thai ladies and I've had some good experiences and some bad experiences. Uh, mostly good, but mostly I would say, um, how can I put it politely, disingenuous and concerning financial gain more than emotional stability or uh, emotional security. Uh, not really relationships, basically. Uh, a couple have been okay, pretty genuine, but most of them have been more concerned with, uh, how should I put it, uh, aerobics and uh, financial uh, situations. Now, as you know, I recently embarked on a little journey in uh, internet dating. Uh, I won't mention, it wasn't an app, it wasn't a dating app per se. It was an app that we all use, that we all use, Everyone has it on their phone. Well, 99, 95 to 95% of us use it, have it on our phones, on our computers. And uh, it's recently had a small dating application instilled as part of the uh, platform. So I started, not that I was in need of a relationship, I'm, uh, I, I tend to, uh, well, I have tended to in the past to uh, avoid, uh, well, of recent times anyway, since I've been retired and since I've been here, uh, avoided uh, emotional attachment, emotional uh, relationships with women. I've been quite content and quite happy to be uh, living alone and... Uh, enjoying my life, uh, traveling around Thailand, doing my uh, YouTube videos and playing here and playing there. I've had a couple of little benders in the bar scene where there've been quite a few women and uh, a lot of uh, nights uh, in an altered uh, mental and psychological state due to, uh, in the most part, a lot of gin so yeah I'm sure you get the picture I'm sure you get the idea I've had a lot of fun so I embarked on this thing for reasons that eluded me for some time I didn't really feel like I needed anyone but I felt a little disillusioned with the scenes at the bars and uh, the ladies I was meeting at the bars and I wanted to meet someone not so disingenuous someone a little bit more real someone a little bit more honest someone with uh, a more a more pleasing attitude and uh, intent and so I started playing around with this uh, part of this app that we all use for dating. And uh, I was talking 
to probably about, I don't know now, I forget now, 10 to 15 different ladies. Some of them were really nice, not ladies that work in the bar, just normal working ladies in Thailand that have been divorced or some never been married, um, some with children, some without children, and uh, throughout Thailand, many different places in Thailand. But one person I was talking to, uh, just tweaked my interest a little bit more than the others in that uh, she seemed incredibly genuine and incredibly open and honest and you have to be careful in Thailand because uh, it, it's a uh, it, it can be tricky it can be tricky that's all I can say. It can be tricky. You can be easily led down the garden path. Okay, sorry about that. My um, little studio light thing, which is uh, plugged into a USB, did something and stopped working. So I've just got to use the room light now. Yeah, okay, so where was I? Um, yes, I was talking to one lady that uh, tweaked my interest greatly because... Um, she seemed, uh, uh, I'm, I have to say, uh, there was an attraction there. As in most cases, we're attracted to people, well, men are, by visuals. And she was pretty attractive, you know, so that tweaked my interest. But then after I talked to her for a few weeks, uh, I became more and more interested in, and the conversations we had became more and more open and more and more honest. And that was what really attracted me. So I didn't say anything to the other ladies that I'd been talking to that I was going to meet someone. I'd said to them that, you know, at some stage I'll try and come and meet you. And some of them didn't speak English, some spoke English. Uh, some of the conversations were trans Google translated, uh, Thai English, English Thai, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes if you live here, if you uh, had some experience with Thai people. So anyway, the interest uh, peaked to a degree. Uh, the restrictions were easing. The Rona situation was getting a little bit better. There was one outbreak in a place that I had to sort of pass through to go to meet this lady but uh, albeit I was on the bike and it would have just been zipping through there it would have been 15 minutes and up through Bangkok and um, yeah so I decided to arrange to go and meet this lady so I packed up my gear and jumped on the bike and away I went it was about a four hour bike ride four and a half hours I take it pretty easy especially if I'm in big traffic going through Bangkok and places like that and main highways that have a lot of traffic, I take it fairly easy. On the big highways, I you know, zoom, zoom. <laughs> so I jump on the Honda Forza and away I went. And I get to, and by the way, the closer I got to the meeting place, I did actually become very, very nervous, which is... Um, you know, par for the course for me. A lot of people, a lot of people tell me they think I'm a really confident person, but actually I'm, you know, very shy and, uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, I, um, I, uh, you know, do a good clown act to hide the uh, insecurities and shyness and whatever. You know, we all do something. We all have a part of us that's that's not so um, confident. Anyway as I got closer and closer to the meeting place I got fairly nervous but anyway I pulled up at this place and there she was sitting there waiting for me which was a bonus that's really good she wasn't late you know so uh, yeah and so um, we met up and uh, she'd arranged a room for me in the hotel and um, you know we had a coffee and then we went upstairs and had a chat and and it went from there and uh, uh, the meeting and uh, what we shared was, um, yeah, really fantastic. It was so good that I actually stayed another day, even though I had to come back because I'd started the shop project 
and I had to get back here and uh, discuss things with the builder and organize some stuff and he was waiting for me to come back but still uh, the feeling was so strong and the feeling was so good and uh, we had such a good time together and we clicked so well together that I stayed an extra day and uh, uh, you've seen where I stayed uh, you've seen us in the, the previous two videos about uh, you know, can you successfully date a, a Thai woman through the internet, through dating? Now, there's a lot of horror stories, a lot of horror stories. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube, uh, one in particular uh, where the guy relates stories that uh, other guys uh, send in to him about their relationships their marriages uh, what's gone wrong how they've been cheated and blah 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 there's a lot of negative stuff about Thai women and it usually comes from incredibly gullible and stupid men who come over here they meet a girl in a bar they marry them they get into a relationship with them and for the lady uh, in a high percentage of the times, it's all about uh, financial situation. And these guys go and buy land in the girl's name, they build houses in the girl's name, they spend millions and millions of baht, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and in the end, they get thrown out with nothing, or they lose everything that they've brought to Thailand or put into the relationship or put into Thailand. So it's devastating. Some of the stories are absolutely devastating. On the other hand, I've heard some incredibly, incredibly fantastic stories and seen and some exceptionally successful relationships. Uh, if you meet uh, a good Thai woman, a good Asian woman, uh, they're incredibly devoted, they're incredibly loving, incredibly kind, uh, compassionate, and incredibly honest and open. Uh, and this is an important factor for me. Uh, now, bear in mind, I wasn't really looking for a relationship per se, a permanent long-term situation. So... Uh, what had happened, what had transpired over that uh, five days was a little bit of a shock to me. So I came home. Now, uh, besides that, talking about successful relationships, I know uh, Australian men who have, uh, one in particular who's been married for 33 years to a Thai lady. They're one of the most successful, happy couples I've ever seen. Uh, I've got another friend here who lives very close to me and him and his wife are good friends of us and their relationship, I just forget how long they said, I think it's about 12 or 15 years and they're probably one of the closest, most successful relationship couples I've, I've ever seen. Uh, you know, they're best friends, they're best companions and they're loving uh, husband and wife, really fantastic. Yeah, so there are success stories, there are uh, tragedies and devastating stories that you hear about. And uh, unfortunately, I think for um, good uh, Thai ladies and Lao ladies, and uh, they're uh, more profuse on the internet are the bad stories. But anyway, this is a good story. I'll let you know that now. This is a good story. So anyway, I came back from the meeting um, with my lovely woman, Am, and uh, a few days uh, we talked. Uh, we had really clicked and we'd become really, really close, really, really close. And I missed her and she missed me. Uh, who couldn't really? <laughs> yeah. And so, a few days later, I packed a bag and headed over here to Cha Am and stayed with me here in Cha Am. We talked about the situation in, at length. We talked about how we felt every day, every night. We encountered some problems, 
due to uh, my past and we all have a past recent and and old and uh, my recent past here has been that of um, what would you say in Thailand uh, they call it a butterfly and uh, you know flitting from place to place we shall say uh, some people some ladies in uh, a particular area area of um, Cha Am actually called me the helicopter so <laughs> uh, that uh, did lead to some problems although I had been quite honest and open with Am about my past about my misdeeds and about my uh, behavior here before I met her and so uh, that was all out in the open anyway but there were some how should I say it some glaring and staring wherever we went out together there were some comments and uh, yeah so you know gossiping jealousy and uh, in that situation those particular ladies are not really jealous of the relationship they're more concerned with uh, someone else uh, getting a hand in their pocket in their uh, farang ATM you might say but anyway that being said and done that was uh, by the by and it was like water off a duck's back to us and so the relationship has blossomed. Um, Am had to go back home to see her daughter off on a flight back to uh, somewhere in northern Thailand where she lives with uh, her father, Am's former husband. And uh, Am's had a relationship before. Am's uh, travelled uh, a fair bit in the world. She's uh, spent quite a bit of time in Europe. So she's... Uh, fairly well educated and we can talk about a lot of things and we have good communication and after that Am packed another bigger bag and now has moved in here with me permanently and so uh, of course no one knows the future and we both know that but we've both agreed that uh, this is a, a beautiful relationship for us both we're both very happy together and we both foresee uh, as far as in our control that uh, the relationship is successful and will go the distance so to speak and so uh, internet uh, dating I guess with anyone I guess it doesn't necessarily only pertain to uh, Thai women or Asian women uh, Am is actually from Laos, so she's not Thai, though she speaks Thai, of course, and has spent many, 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 many years in Thailand. And uh, at the moment, we can't go to Laos to see her family or her friends because of uh, the Rona situation. We're in uh, uh, many places in Thailand right now are in major lockdown. There's been this third wave going on, and right now in Cha Am, we have... Uh, uh, all the bars are closed and I believe they've just extended it for another month to at least June. Uh, restaurants, uh, which I've just opened a restaurant, so it's pretty tough on us too because now they've brought out a new one saying that we can't sell beer. There's uh, a soft curfew, 11pm to 4am. Not that we would have stayed open till 11pm uh, anyway. I don't want my uh, staff to have to put up with extremely drunk people, although there are none around now. <coughs> Excuse me. And so... Uh, yeah, things are, are pretty tough here at the moment and we're being careful. We're sort of isolating as much as we can at home. But that's pleasant because uh, we're so amicable. We get on so well together. We enjoy each other's company so much, each other's companionship so much. Uh, love is, uh, real love, I would say, is uh, growing and getting stronger by the day. So I would say personally in my uh, opinion in my experience that internet dating with uh, a Thai girl or a Lao girl can be uh, successful 
of course you have to be careful, you have to be discriminative in uh, what you believe, what you take in. You always have to be careful. If people start asking you for money right from the get-go, well you know this is not going to be a relationship based on any kind of emotional uh, companionship type need or it's not going to really facilitate anything that's going to be a strong, open, uh, healthy uh, relationship. Uh, this relationship to me with Am feels incredibly healthy. Uh, as I said, we've had a couple of uh, you know obstacles put in our way. I've recently had an obstacle of someone uh, who came and uh, unfortunately someone I trusted who came and spoke to us, ate with us, drank with us and the whole time speaking in a Thai dialect that I didn't understand any of uh, was openly in front of me putting Am down, saying some very nasty things about Am saying some incredibly uh, nasty and uh, bad things about me and uh, even putting down uh, my staff at the restaurant. It was quite upsetting when I found out and uh, at the moment I've got to take some steps to uh, rid my life of, or our life, my life and our life of that uh, toxic person. Uh, it was designed uh, specifically to try and drive a wedge between us. And uh, it didn't work, it did the ex exact opposite. Uh, Anne was pretty upset, I was pretty angry, but uh, it's actually made us closer. And so, yeah, so it's been successful. And uh, I would like to let you all know, specifically those people that would like to enter into a relationship with a Thai or Lao girl, Asian, an Asian woman, there, there are major, there are major, major uh, cultural differences. There are things you have to respect. There are things that you have to be careful about. Uh, Asian people have a big thing about losing face. And so you have to be really careful that uh, you don't say something or do something that makes someone lose face. That can create problems. Communication can be a problem, of course, because you've got major cult cultural differences and language barriers. And so you have to be careful, you have to be patient. And now I know some of the people that know me will be laughing to hear me say that, but you know, uh, Thailand has changed me, you know, and uh, the lifestyle here has changed me. I have changed. I've gotten older. I know that you can't see it. I know that you can't see that I've aged. Uh, but, yeah, I, you know, I've aged. Uh, the lifestyle here, the feeling living here, uh, the people here, there are many aspects of life in Thailand and being retired that have changed my way of thinking, uh, my attitude towards how I act and react to different situations and people. And uh, it's taught me and brought me uh, a great a lot of patience, a great amount of patience. And so, look, you know, this is a bit raw, this video, um, but I wanted to be really honest and open about it. And uh, because I know that there's a lot of men out there that uh, are talking to Thai girls on dating sites. And uh, I would warn you, be careful. Of course, always be careful. There are a lot of horror stories. And there are a lot of Thai ladies now that worked in bars that have no work because of the Rona situation. Everybody is broke here at the moment. People are desperate for money just to eat food, let alone those that are caring for their parents, paying for schooling for their children, even though the schools are closed right now. People are desperate for money. And when people are desperate for money, they will stoop to some very tricky, uh, low-grade behaviour to get money. So be careful, especially at the moment. Now for those people that, uh, you know, 
are sending dirty photos of their appendages to Thai girls and they're getting photos back of the Thai girls' personal uh, attributes and stuff like that. Obviously, this doesn't concern you. But for those people who are genuinely looking for a partner, uh, especially some of you may be uh, socially uncomfortable, shall we say, or less adept than uh, others at meeting people, by all means, try the dating service. Be careful. Communicate for a long time. Communicate honestly. But don't expose yourself to uh, uh, the results of stupidity, you know. So just be careful. Um, I'll add some more stuff to this video later of our day-to-day -day life and some photos and stuff like that. Uh, but I want you to know that uh, this particular foray into... Uh, online dating has worked out I would say almost perfectly for me uh, Am? Am? Yeah. The internet dating did it work for you? Yes? Yes or no? Good or not? Good yeah. Good okay I'll interview you shortly. <laughs> Am's pretty happy too so we're both pretty happy about it so it's, we were lucky we were lucky I've got to say we were lucky you know we were very lucky and uh, I guess fate has a hand to play in it all in everything that you experience of course even if you have bad experiences you know uh, before I retired and lived in Thailand you know uh, I had the attitude of uh, you know some days I win some days I lose you know but in my almost two years living in Thailand now and many many years of visiting here my attitude has changed somewhat to the point where I feel now that some days I win some days I learn and I learn lessons every day and uh, a lot of those lessons have been with uh, women a lot of those lessons have been with uh, just general day-to-day -day life and people around here experience can be a good learning curve and uh, yeah so I'll leave it at that for now and I'll add some more to this video later we'll talk to Am and try to get her to uh, express herself as best she can in English about uh, how the internet dating uh, has worked for her and can it be successful uh, I might say it too Am was talking to very 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 men, many men uh, on this uh, particular internet uh, platform as well and so you know there were, there was a lot of competition there was a lot of competition but fortunately for me Am was looking for something genuine someone honest and uh, yeah so we shall uh, continue this a little bit later but yes uh, you can do successful meeting through dating platforms uh, of the various types. I mean, there are many. There's uh, Thai friendly, there's uh, Tinder, there, there's uh, quite a few other ones, and there's the one on Facebook now as well. There I said it, I mentioned it. You know, I started doing it just playing. You know, I was playing games with people. You know, I'll probably get some karmic, uh, uh, karmic. Uh, results from that somewhere along the line well i already have so but i made a few friends too you know so anyway uh we'll go back to this and do a little bit more later uh it's gonna be uh tough i've decided to do this and i've decided to do it openly and honestly but i've decided to do it because it's going to be very difficult now to uh get any decent content for um my YouTube channel although we can still go to some places we'll probably go to the beach tomorrow early in the morning so I might do something there as well and our day-to-day -day life together around Thailand and at home and around the area here at the shop what's going on with the shop and and stuff like that so yeah we'll continue with a little bit more later on so look thanks for watching uh, I'm over I'm up to about 220 subscribers now and uh, with gratitude I th 
great gratitude. I thank all you people that are watching my videos, even be it for two minutes or five minutes or the whole video. I thank you so much for the put to the people who have shared the videos and the people that have subscribed. Uh, I've had uh, over 10,000 views now. So uh, the channel's slowly growing, but I really do want it to grow. You, you know, to be honest, I want to monetize the channel, but I've got to get a thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm well over enough views to do that now, but I have to get a thousand subscribers. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. Doesn't cost you anything but a few seconds of your time. There's no money involved in it at all. And share the videos with people. If you find them interesting in any way whatsoever, please share them. And if that person subscribes, they might share to two other people who subscribe. And you never know, I'll get up there to, to the thousand uh, subscribers uh, quicker than I got to the uh, to the two, over 200. And I thank you all for that. So thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll do some more about this uh, this situation and uh, let you know the progress score on uh, what's going on with uh, Am and myself. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Ciao for now.